Okay, so we're diving into Entropia today. Hmm. This online world, I mean, it's known for its crazy economy. Like, you use real money. Mm -hmm. And we've got these chat logs. It's like a window into what's actually going on in this world, right? It is. It really shows, you know, what makes Entropia tick. Like, what are people actually doing? What are they talking about? Right off the bat, the thing that jumps out at me is the trading. Like, constantly, yeah. people are buying and selling stuff. You flagged a couple things, like a supremacy helmet F and someone trying to offload a bunch of low new blueprints. What even are these things? Yeah, so the supremacy helmet, um, that's a big deal. It's like top tier armor in Entropia. And because it's so good, it's like a status symbol. Like you see someone wearing that, you know they're serious about the game. So it's not just about protection, it's about showing off too. Exactly. And it can be worth a lot, not just in the game's currency, but like real money too. Wow. Okay, what about those blueprints? I saw Anti and Moo mentioned a lot. Right, so D time, that's Project Entropia dollars tied to the US dollar, so that's actual money we're talking about. And Moo, that's how efficient the blueprints are for crafting, because crafting is huge in Entropia. People make all sorts of items, weapons, armor, you name it. So it's like, the better the blueprint, the better stuff you can make, and the more money you can potentially make. You got it. And that leads us to some of the drama that you picked up on, like this back and forth between Cognitive Best Dissident and um, Jim, Jimmy McCuss. Yeah, the rookie rumble, as we're calling it. They seem to have very different views on how Entropia works. Mm. Like, is it possible to succeed, or is it all rigged? Right. Bass seems to be more like optimistic, you know, work hard, play smart, that kind of thing. But Jimmy, he's pretty cynical, thinks the whole system is designed to keep you spending. Yeah, their personalities definitely come through in the chat. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy's saying, fuck that, you want the ship, do it all yourself. That's pretty intense. Yeah, and then you have Bax trying to, like, calm things down. Jimmy, it is unnecessary to be so negative, like two totally different approaches. It feels like it's more than just, like, them disliking each other. It's like a fundamental disagreement about how the whole game works. Absolutely. And I think a lot of players probably struggle with that, too. Like, is Entropia a fair system? Yeah. Or is it set up to benefit only a few? And it's not just them, right? We've got other people chiming in, like Tony Urza von Kult saying, ah, rookie drama, who is mad or sad today? Makes it sound like these arguments are pretty common. Yeah, especially in the rookie chat. You've got new players coming in, figuring things out, different expectations, and sometimes that leads to clashes. Plus, chat is just a place where people vent, right? Okay, so we've got this backdrop of serious money, philosophical differences, and new players kind of figuring things out. So why? Why all this drama? Why are people getting so worked up in these conversations? I mean, think about it. This isn't just a game where you're racking up points. There's real money involved. People have invested, like, a lot. So yeah, the emotions run high. Okay, so it's not just about winning or losing in the game. It's about potentially winning or losing actual money. That definitely raises the stakes. Definitely. And then, you know, you add in the real world stuff. Like, remember Benjamin Ben Coyote? Yeah. Talking about pandemics. Yeah, that was kind of jarring. Like, here we are in this virtual world, and suddenly, bam, real world anxiety. He said they can't escape it, right? Even in Entropia, those worries creep in. So we've got the money, the arguments about how the game works, and then real world stuff leaking in. It's like a recipe for, well, more drama. But is that all it is? Is Entropia just about the drama? I don't think so. I think it's about like Entropia being more than just a game. It's this whole community, like a mini society, you yeah. know, with, with its own economy and rules. And people are trying to figure out where they fit in. I see that. Like the way they talk to each other, the little jokes, the greetings, mm -hmm. they're forming relationships, even if it sometimes involves like yelling at each other in chat. Exactly. And like, their time, their resources, those are on the line. So they're passionate. They want to see Entropia work, even if it means like arguing about it. So it's less about the drama itself and more about like caring about Entropia, trying to figure out how to live there, not just play. Yeah, I like that. It's about being part of the Entropia community. And that can get messy, you know, just like in real life. It's a reminder that this is all about people. Their emotions are real, even if the world is virtual. Yeah, and those emotions, they're why it's so interesting to look at these conversations. It tells us a lot about, well, us. Okay, so maybe the drama is just like a side effect. Like, if people didn't care, there wouldn't be anything to argue about. Right, no passion, no drama, It'd just be people silently clicking around. <laughs> so all this arguing, it means people actually care about Entropia. They want to be heard. They want to connect. They want it to be good. Exactly. It all comes back to your question, right? Why so much drama? Because people are invested. It's human nature. We care. We get invested. Things get messy. 
even yeah. in a virtual world. And that messiness, that's what makes it so interesting. It's wild, right? All this drama, real money, these big philosophical questions, but people are still playing Entropia. Like it's been around forever. What keeps them coming back? Well, it's the community, right? Even with all the arguments and anxieties, it gives people a sense of belonging, a place to connect, chase goals, maybe goals they can't achieve in the real world. Yeah, like become a legendary hunter or a crafting master, things like that. Right, you can be anyone, do anything. It's like an escape, even if it doesn't always live up to the, uh, the hype. But that promise is still powerful. Like those conversations we've been talking about, they show people care. Yeah. They want Entropia to be good, even if they're yelling about it sometimes. Exactly. It's that passion that makes it so interesting. So we've seen it all, right? The trading, the rookie rumble, th those real world fears creeping in. What stands out to you? What's the most interesting thing about all this? I think for me, it's just seeing how important the human element is. Like even in a virtual world, it's our emotions, our choices that make it interesting. It's what creates the drama, the excitement. Yeah. And I think the big takeaway here, Entropia might be virtual, but those conversations, those are real, real people, real hopes, real worries. It's like a mirror, you know, reflecting who we are. That's a great point. And maybe by looking at those reflections, we can learn something yeah. about ourselves, about how we connect with each other online and offline. Exactly. Because in the end, whether it's Entropia or the real world, it's all about people. 